zero hour. That's right, zero hour. The big Z for everybody and the rest of us. Well, actually, this show is dedicated to the rest of us. It's not for your, your Joe that's up there in the high life of life, but it's a show for the rest of us, those of us that are out there feeling glum and gloom. Uh, it's a show dedicated to Zero, and here I am, Professor Zero, uh, ready to give you some advice in your life. So what do you have? What are you doing? What are you going about? Uh, what's your problem? Let me know. Dial the digit 662-469-6397 is the digits, but we're live here with Professor Zero, and the whole name of the game is, hey, you know what? Uh, life treats you bad. Life gets you down, but it's time. Uh, you know what? So uh, you get up, we wake up late in the, in the, in the middle of the day, uh, it's 12 o'clock, get out of bed, have not brush your teeth, uh, live in your mom's basement, uh, and you wear pajamas most of the day. Well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with uh, little things in life, like uh, letting a little bit of the good, good quality of life hit you? Uh, lazy, good for nothing, slob, whatever, what's wrong with that, right? Uh, and this is not your average motivational show. If you want to go watch a motivational show that tells you, you know, you can be something, get up there, do something with your life, this is not the show because as you know and as we all know, we've tried that. We've come back time and time again, and you know what? There's nothing to that. So, uh, you know, if that would have happened, that would have happened already. And so this is not that show for you. This is the show for the rest of us. Uh, you're a little bit overweight, and no problem, you big fat slob, fantastic. This is the show that celebrates zero, you know. Success in life comes in two categories, I think, win or lose. If you're in the win side, well, fantastic <laughs> for you, you know. If you're on the lose side, you're a winner too, because every lose has a win, does it not? Yes, it does. I know what you're saying, that doesn't make sense, but it does in a way, doesn't it? I mean, think of it this way. Think of it this way. A lot of us have our YouTube channels, and we, we got into YouTube for uh, one reason and one reason only, isn't that right? To make the big million uh, and, and to, to have a million uh, hits and to have a, a million subscribers, isn't that right? It's exactly what's right. And what do you have? 100 subscribers, two subscribers, whatever it is, you've tried it over and over again, and you have none. You know what I'm saying? It's like right now, you're thinking to yourself, what do I do? Well, don't worry about it. There's somebody out there that already has a million subscribers. And so if you think about it, because one million has a lot of zeros behind it. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of zeros to make that million. Now, there can only be one one at the front of the line, but there can be a heck of a lot of zeros behind that. You're all part of the same million, so you're a zero. It's time to face up to it. You're probably not going to do better in life, but whoop de do. you know what I'm saying? Who cares? That stuff's for the rest of us. You know what? Let's listen to any live callers out there. 662-469-6397, 662-469-6397. Tell me your situation in life, what's happening, what's going on. But while we do that, let's take a little break here. For instance, you know, you have some weight loss issues. You're a little plump. Myself? Uh, everybody knows that stress, anxiety, these kind of things build up the stress inside of you and just cause you to chunkify and this kind of thing. I'm going to tell you one thing. I spent a lot of time, and I was, I was to an enormous 264 pounds, something like that. And I spent an enormous time trying to lose some weight. I was chunkified. I was big. I was doing the big gulps every day. And I was a little bit of chunkification, you know what I'm saying? So I spent a long time trying. I didn't do drastic things. Like I didn't hit the, the you know, the exercise and all that stuff running. <laughs> Whoa, slow down, you know what I'm saying? But I did do some sensible things, which is, you know, I ate and then I stopped eating once I got full. That helped out. So I lost a whopping 10 pounds out of that. Guess what? It's all back. I'm back to 264. Hooray. No, not hooray. I'm back to 275. <laughs> you know what? It's time to stop thinking that you're going to just go on this diet, lose some weight, come back. Because let me tell you the reality of it is it's not coming off. Yeah, you're going to go. Why? Well, you going to do a workout? Okay, okay, fine. I worked out this week. I was thinking to myself, 275. That's a little too much. So I did a little workout, right? I gained again. You know, I was at 273. I gained, they say, muscle. 
uh, you know, weighs more, whatever. And I'm going to count it to that. Oh, I gained some muscle. That's not what happened. You know, I just chunkified some more. You, the more you think about it, the more you chunkify. So I say this. Why not eat and let bygones be bygones and let your body do whatever it wants? Because in reality, who's going to get up and exercise? You are for a week, right? If you're one of these bodybuilding kind, <laughs> this is not the show for you. But... So, you know, go get out of here. Go watch your bodybuilding stuff. You know, go watch your karateka stuff. No. But if you're one of these slazy law slobs that are just sitting down on your couch playing video games, getting chunky and chucking your right a second, I'm going to tell you something. You know, I'm going to motivate you right now because zero, zero is part of a much bigger number. I mean, if you divide zero by any number, what does it give you? Zero, which tells you it's the most powerful number out there. You keep being a zero because zero is good for you. That's exactly, oh, well, <laughs> we have a caller. Hold on, we're in a second. Let me get to this caller. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? This is Nathan from uh, Texas. I'm Nathan from Texas. Fantastic. Well, tell me, Nathan, uh, what's going on with you? Why are you calling the show? And then what's motivating you? Well, you know, you see, uh, the problem is that I'm living in my, uh, in my mom's basement and I want to move out with, whoa, hold the phones there. Nathan, why the heck do you want to move out? Are you kidding me? You've got a good situation going there for you. You've got free rent, and what do you do? What are you going to do if you move out? You're going to have to pay rent. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to have a, a solid situation there. You play video games, Nathan? I mean, is this what you do all day? Well, how do you know? Because I know. I know these things. And tell me. Moving out, getting a job, and finding your own place, is that going to cut into your video game time? Oh, well, you betcha, but you know, my mom says responsible. Your mom says responsibilities? Listen to me. Are you happy playing the video games? Are you happy waking up at 12 o'clock? Because if you are, that's you. That's you. Oh, my girlfriend says, so, oh, that's the problem. girlfriend says. This is always the thing that happens. And let me cut you off for a second there. But, you know, caller, uh, Nathan from Texas, fantastic. But, you know, this is the thing. Uh, and if, again, 662-469-6397 if you want to get on the show. But this is the thing is that, you know, it always comes down to the girlfriend. The girlfriend says this, girlfriend says that. You know what? The girlfriend's looking for somebody that she can change and mold into something better, which, by the way, that's what girls do. They, they attach to a piece of garbage, and then they mold that person. And if you're a moldable person, fantastic, you know. If you're not, if you're somebody out there that just wants to play video games all day and sit down, hey, you know, there's no changing that. It's crap, it's crap, you know what I'm saying? But you're happy. You're, well, you're not happy, but you're you're good. You know what I'm saying? And so what you want to think about is this. Why, why don't I succeed? I'm going to give you the key to life right here. A lot of us are latched on to good women. Women that have a big, big sense in their head. And we stick around with this notion of I'm the man and I'm the head of the house. I'm, uh, you know. Forget it. Where are you? Do you do you have a million dollars in the bank? Are you, are you professional at this? Uh, are you successful at that? Uh, do people call you sir, et cetera, et cetera? No, they don't. So obviously that's not working. Here's a little success for you. If you've latched onto a girl, if you've convinced, if you've tricked somebody into marrying you, then this is what you do right now. You just let her take over. I'm serious. Just let her take over. Whatever it is, honey, yes, that's the that's the meal ticket because her ideas are gonna be better than yours. What? Are you kidding? Well, look at look around, you, okay? Are your ideas better? Have you made something of your, you know, your situation? Have you improved it? Obviously not. Or you wouldn't be watching this show with zero viewers. You know what I'm saying? Zero for zero. So if you haven't already succeeded, chances are that, well, zero chances that you're going to succeed anyway. So just latch on to her ideas, let her control the show, or better yet, you know, that's one meal ticket that you do. Here is the absolute secret to life, you zeros out there, you, you bunch of good for nothing slobs, video game playing pajama, waking up at 12. Here's the ticket to life. Let it happen. You know, all you keep doing, all we keep doing in this zero game is thinking that our ideas are going to pan out. Please, okay? You've invented something and somebody else has taken it to the market, right? Somebody that's not watching this show. You always come up with a brilliant plan. Ooh, I'm going to have this fantastic show on the YouTube. 
<laughs> how many watches we got, right? So not panning out. It's just not going to happen. So take it this way. Instead of putting these lofty goals that you know are never going to happen, because you're already 40, you're already 50, you're already 30, heck, if you're 25 and nothing's happened for you, that's too late. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you right now is instead of putting these lofty goals that are never going to happen, you just be happy with zero because zero is not a bad number at all. If you think about it, how much light gets into a black hole? You know what I'm saying? All the light, zero escapes. Zero is good. Zero is good. You know, where else are you going to go in life? Let's do this. Instead of letting your body chunkify with stress, let your body, you know, de-stress a little bit. Understand who you are and say, you know what? I'm motivated to be demotivated. Say that with me right now. Just pledge down there. Go ahead. If you're watching the show, you know, one of the one watchers watching right now, if you're one watching, uh, just pledge to demotify, demotivation, the betterification, if you want to call it. Pledge right now. Pledge right down there. Said, I'm a zero. You're a zero. I'm a zero. We're all zeros. This is fantastic. So go ahead and pledge down there, this one watcher, and say, yeah, you know, I'm a zero. I'm good with, the, with what's happening in my life. That's the trick, you see? It's like George. You saw the George Costanza show, didn't you? Where he decided, you know, I'm not going to stress out about being a failure. And what happened to him? Good things fell in his lap. They always do. You see all these guys around us that are doing better, uh, more successful, more money, better careers. They don't stress out about these things. They're not out there sitting Oh, what am I going to do with myself? You know, what kind of invention am I going to come up with? Or, I mean, ooh, it's getting a little frosty here, so hold on a second, guys. It's a little cold in the basement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, what are these guys doing? You know, they're not stressing out. The thing's handed to them in their lap. They have, uh, you know, goodly parents that have given them a nice uh, a fortune to inherit or some buddies, you know, the good college buddies. We've got none of that. If you had some of that, you wouldn't be watching this show right now. So give yourself a break, pat yourself on the back and say, hey, I'm good with zero. Whoa, wait a minute. We have another caller. Let's get this. Remember, if you want to call 662-469-6397, uh, hold, hold on a second. Uh, yes, caller, you're on the air. How can I, uh, what can I do for you? And tell us your name. Well, this is Rick from Alabama. Rick from Alabama. Fantastic. Tell me, Rick, uh, why are you calling today? Well, you see, uh, I've got a little problem. I, you know, all I do is drink and drink this Coca-Cola every single day, and I, I can't stop doing it, and it's ruining my health. I can't stand myself anymore, boy. What can you tell me? Whoa, right there. I'm going to cut you off right there, and I'm going to come back to my viewers. I'm going to say something about this. You have goals, but why not set real goals, you know, goals, let's have some real goals, you, you're chunkifying on the Coca-Cola, too much Coca-Cola every day, you know, you go get yourself a couple of big gulps, you feel guilty about it, are you kidding me, this stuff tastes delicious, now I'm on water right now, because I just had a couple liters a little while ago, and I'm feeling a little guilty about that, we all do, you know how it is, like you have a gallon of ice cream by yourself, oh, I'm feeling so guilty, let's de-stress a little bit. Understand who you are. You're somebody that likes a little bit of flavor, not like these fancy pants over there with their little portions the size of a nugget. You know what I'm saying? We can't handle that. We go to the Del Tacos and order the Macho Grande and might as well give me two. You know what I'm saying? So don't think about quitting Coca-Cola that's bad for you. Ooh. No, make yourself some realistic goals here uh, from Alabama. Do this for me. Say, what am I going to do? What kind of goal is going to motivate me? I'm going to switch from Coca-Cola to Dr. P. You know, I said, Dr. Pepper, right? So every time you go to the shop in the corner to get yourself a big gulp with Coca-Cola, guess what? You're coming out one up out of there. Pat yourself on the back because you've gotten yourself a goal. You're going out there with a Dr. Pepper instead of Coca-Cola. Wow, what an achievement. I'm serious. Have you ever put a teeth that you know tooth falls out? You put it in the cold cola, that thing dissolves. That oh, that thing is full of acids, bad for you, and it just dissolves everything inside. Sometimes it's good if you have a little bit of you know chunkification of uh, diarrhea is going in there. But other than that, Doctor P is one hundred. Well, I'm not gonna say hundred times better, but it's it's a little better. It's not gonna rotten out your teeth as quick as the Coca Cola does. So you've already done something 
good for you. So whoa with these lofty dreams about quitting the soda. Cause you're never gonna do it. I know you're not gonna do it. You know you're not gonna do it. You're gonna make yourself miserable for what, two weeks? And then you're gonna stop again and go back to the bagel after you've gained another extra five pounds that magically appears. How do that magically five pounds appears? I don't know. You don't know, your neighbor doesn't know. Your neighbor's over there pumping iron. He's like some you know, built super, you know what I'm saying? But you, we go on a diet and what happens? It doesn't work. And then, uh, well, you don't believe me. Okay, so TV, let's go back to TV. Okay, so you saw all those biggest losers. They were all there working out 24 hours a day, you know, and oh, a little bit of food and this kind of thing. And they all, what happened? They slimmed down, right? Well, let me tell you something about this. All those biggest losers got chunkified again and even bigger because why do you even find it? Let's just give in to the zero. This is zero hour with, dot, with, with Professor Zero for the rest of us. This is not for your average bodybuilding Joe. Uh, let him go to the gym. Don't even watch this channel. This is for the rest of us real people that aren't going to lose anything. Why? Because it doesn't work that way. Scientifically, hey, first of all, we have these things called cells inside of us, these little round things. You know what I'm saying? They float around. Well, some of them decided to turn into fat cells. I didn't tell them to turn into fat cells. Did you? No. For some reason, they are out there floating around. And next thing you know, ooh, I'm a fat cell. Yeah, so I'm going to absorb 100 times my weight of fat and just store it. Seriously. And not only this, but then they decide to just kick it with their other friends in these places where they're not going to get found because they're. They're, they're, they're going to be in the basement somewhere playing video games, you know what I'm saying? And they stick there, and next thing you know, these little cells are hardening up. So they say, like, oh, I'm going to put a, a, a barrier around myself so nothing can get to me. Now, what do you think? So I'm going to work out. Sweat, 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 poop it all out, you know, because like scientifically speaking, where is it coming out of it? It's not coming out of your sweat, it's coming out of your butt. But anyway, you poop it out finally, but what are you taking out of you? You're not taking the fat cells out. Those puppies just shrink down. That's all. And for what? You work yourself to the bone and they finally shrunk. They're still there, buddy. They're still alive, floating around. And all they're waiting for you is to pop one little damn marshmallow into your mouth and then plump up again. And so it's impossible. You're going to stress yourself out because you can't lose 10 pounds. I can't lose 10 pounds. In fact, the stress is just going to make you gain those 10 pounds back and another 10 on top of it because his buddy is going to be like, whoa, I just had to lose part of myself, so I'm going to get my other buddies to help protect me. And they do. They get into these clusters. The only way they can lose fat, I'm, I'm, you know, you're going to hate me for saying this, but real, realistically here, the only way to lose fat, I'm telling you, is liposuction. I mean, they stick a thing in you and, and suck out all those cells of fat. That's what they do. And so now you have to make new cells. How long did it take you to chunkify? It took you, what, 20 years? What about the de-chunkify? You know what I'm saying? A whole year working out hard, hard sweat. How long does it come back in? Two weeks, three weeks, you pop again. Plus, here's how the body works against you. For those of you that are out there thinking, oh, you know what? I'm going to better myself. Better yourself. Are you kidding me? Your body is working against you. Your body's saying, okay, I've got this metabolism going here. We're going at this rate. You know, and then Joe over there wants to sit down and play a couple more video games because he's got a little quality time to himself. You know what I'm saying? Quality time. You deserve it. Sit down, play some video games. Well, what does your body do? Whoa, I see Joe over there is not going so fast anymore. So let's slow it down. So, whoa, slow down the pace. Your whole body goes, shh, shh. Well, what just happened there? The level of chunkification just went up. Your body's fighting you. So it doesn't matter if you now get up, do 100 push-ups. Now it's like as if you are not doing anything. You're just back to level one. Get real, man. If it was working, it would have already worked. There's guys out there more successful, richer, happier with more stock than you'll ever have. And the key to success now is letting that go because it's it's this. Are you ever going to get there? No. If you work, right? So what are you going to do now? The trick is be good with yourself. You know, pledge right now down there. I'm a zero. You're a zero. We're fine with that. You know, these motivational things you can do better. 
what for? You know, if I get, if you get a better job, then what about video game time? You know what you like. You like to eat, you like to play video games, and you like to kick it, and you like to wake up late. And you like to go to bed at a decent hour, right? Two, three, four o'clock in the morning. So you mean to tell me that I'm going to switch you over to nine to five and you're going to be happy because that's what's going to happen. You're going to be, no, that's not happiness. So you might as well, why don't you forget about all that? Because you know what? We all have this little seller in our mind and it tells us exactly who we're going to be. And you know what? Unless you have a motivated girlfriend or a motivated wife that's going to push you places, then you're not going to get to those places. So here's the meal ticket for you. You know, your wife's telling you you want a bigger house, better job, pay the things. Let her take over. Uh, girlfriend's telling you you got to go to school. This, okay, if that's, if that's the way you're going, that's fine. You know, that's how these other people succeed. Other than that, you want to change it all around? It's not going to happen. You've already tried. So what's the big deal? D level your stress. Huh? You see what I'm saying? D level. Oh, we have a caller right here. Hold on a second, guys. We have a caller. Hold on. Let me pick that up. Hold on. Hello. Who's this? Who do we have here? <laughs> oh, we lost the caller. Sorry about that, guys. If you want to call in, 662-469-6397. Now, we're talking demotivational here. It's Zero Hour with Professor Zero. That's me. And we're saying, you know, you want to wake up late. You want to go to bed late. You want to live in your mother's basement, wear pajamas all day, and walk around with one of these as you go to the fridge and scrounge what's there, maybe a little leftover pizza. You want to, you know, basically do your slobbing nine to five. Well, what's wrong with that, I tell you? What's wrong with that? This is not a motivational show. This is a show for the rest of us. Like I said, a million, that's what you want to get to. Well, a million has a lot of zeros in it. And know this, you are contributing. You are one of those zeros in the big plethora of million. So there can only be one at the end of that. And that's that's Joe somebody over there with their million hits. And they're, ooh, I've not got success on my hand. Forget about that. All you're going to be doing is looking over there, wanting that, never getting that. And your ideas, let's face it, your ideas blow. Okay? Once you admit that to yourself, my ideas, let's say it together here. Let's say it together. My ideas blow. Once you admit to that, then you can be part of that one million. You see, you can fit your zero anywhere in there. You can fit it to the left, to the right. You can zero anywhere. And you know what? Zero is a big round hole. So it's you can be whatever shape you want as long as it's this because this is the one. You know, trim, slim, tender. Uh, this kind of thing working out, that's the one at the front. But the zero is all of us. So let's just repeat after me. <laughs> zero is good. Zero is great. Zero is for you. Once you realize that, you know what? Good things will happen because you don't know. And here's a little secret I'm going to tell you. You don't know the power of zero. Once you give in and pledge, put your pledge down there. Say, I'm a zero. I'm a zero. Come on, say it with me. I'm a zero. Now, once you pledge with me and put it down, things will start happening for you that are phenomenal because all that happens is you're sending out these bad vibes out there that I want to be somebody. I want to get a better job. What for? Once you realize that you don't have to be involved in all of that, you're sending out Z vibes, baby. Z vibes is where you want to be. Ooh, look at these Z vibes. They feel good, especially Christmas, because everybody's going to know you ain't going to give them zero. You know what I'm saying? So don't stress out about what they're going to get under the Christmas tree. Hey, I'm putting out there some Z vibes, and it's coming back at me. And the power of Z, I'll tell you this. The power of Z, once you convince yourself and say, hey, you know, I'm different. Why do I have to be successful? Why do I have to rat, run this rat race with anybody? Why do I have to keep up with you? Because you're faster. Let's face it. You're stronger. Probably better looking, but it's, it's hard to say, you know. And you're smarter. So I'm not going to go all those ways because, hey, you know what? 
All those inventions that you thought about, somebody's already thought them up quicker, faster, stronger than you, and they have money to go out there and advertise them. So forget about all that. What I'm saying is once you forget about all that, the power of Z will be with you. And Z, oh, feel those Z vibes. They're with me. They're with you. And once you feel those Z vibes, baby, then, then the world is yours. I'm telling you. I mean, zero is part of everything if you think about it. How many people in your house are successful? Zero, right? Well, hey, that's fine. I mean, maybe the people that live upstairs, but hey, they're not in my little realm here. You know what I'm saying? How many people next to you are successful? How many people you know you be successful? Well, wait, like, maybe all of them, right? But that doesn't matter because they're somewhere else. They're doing something else, not what you're doing, because what you're doing Z works, right? Zero. So. Once you get that into your subconscious and you start living the life of Z, it's like a weight has dropped off you. And I'm serious. You're going to poop out so much weight out of your butt that it is going to feel fantastic because you're going to know to yourself, hey, I am no longer one of these rat racers that's trying to compete with myself. Who am I kidding, right? Zero versus zero is big fat goose egg. It's not like Mother Goose is going to come down the alley over there and teach you their secret power ways let's face it and let's go with successful people here guys because you know if you're successful and you're watching this show you're not watching the show but the one watcher out there i got the attention of let me tell you this okay now let's face it those people out there with success they've got better cars better education better intelligence better everything everything is better right they've just given been given a better bigger fatter brain We've been given the rest. So for the rest of us, you see what I'm saying? You make the mold, you make the pretty thing, stick it out, and then the rest comes up. Hey, the rest, if it wasn't there, there'd be nothing. All there'd be is these sticks floating around. That's not what you want. You want to be a part of that. You are a million, a part of the million. How many zeros come after a million? There's at least six, right? us to make one of them if we're not over there part of that million then there is no million so you are a millionaire you are a success monster you are the best the best at being zero you take that to the bank don't let them fool you with their rat race and their you got a better this and you need a better that you don't you need a better house I stop paying rent are you kidding me your credit's lousy and your FICA score, forget about it. Uh, you know, just pledge, just pledge down there. I'm a zero. You know what? Um, and, and it's a lot of forms to fill out, and you got to call them, and this and that. By the time it's over, you know, it's a lot of work. So why? You're not, you're not going to do it anyway. So just be comfortable in that little apartment with the neighbors upstairs with their loud noise. Wouldn't you have it any other way? I mean, seriously. If your wife ain't motivating you, then you probably have no wife, which is fine because you're not going to get one. You see what I'm saying? Stop fooling yourself. Now, if in all you ever had a chance, it's with somebody else telling you to do something different. Am I wrong or am I right? Because you know what? Your ideas are worth zero, like all the rest of us. They're worth zero because they've gotten you zero. So stop thinking that you're going to change it by doing the same thing, because you're not. You've been doing the same thing, and you're not going to do something different because your brain's not wired to do something different. This is you. Hey, who am I going to blame? Am I going to blame the big guy upstairs? No, I'm not. This is me. And you know what? I'm great with sitting back, preaching the sermon to all your zeros, which is zero out there watching. You know, you're of course, you're not watching my channel. You're watching something else. You're watching the fat cats that have a million subscribers because hey it takes zero for you to watch that channel if i wasn't here if you weren't here if i wasn't in this situation of showing my show to nobody then those fat cats over there with a million viewers hey they wouldn't have their million viewers because i i'd have them you see what i'm saying so i'm contributing to them in fact i'm the one that's making them popular by being zero see how awesome your power is you have the power to create success.
It's just not your own success. You have the power to create other people's success to monetize them, right? You see what I'm saying? So you keep doing what you're best at, which is being zero. Have yourself a Coke. No, no, a Dr. Pepper. Pledge zero. Give the zero, the power of a zero, a chance, baby, because it works. Once you've gotten there and you've lost maybe zero pounds, give yourself a pat on the back this week by saying, you know what, I'm going to go to bed late, I'm going to wake up early, I'm going to play a couple of extra video games, and you know what? If by somehow, by some chance, I get fired next week because of it, so I got zero anyway. You see what I'm saying? How it works? It's just beautiful, baby. So give yourself over the power of zero. We'll see you next time with uh, Professor Zero over here. Remember, we're all part of the big zero, except for the one in front. You know what I'm saying? Catch you later, alligator. If you take a one away from zero, then you still have a big fat zero. If you add a one to that zero, zero is a big fat hole. If you add or take away from zero, zero is a big round hole. If I give you zero, zero, will, will, will I be your hero? No, 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 zero is a big round hole. Zero is the best of all the numbers because it's right in the middle. Zero is a big round hole. We'll see you next time when you still are zero. Zero is a big round hole.